Okay, we are live. Uh, hi there. I am Diagnostic 80, uh, Christopher McLeod from the Four Force podcast. And joining me today on the show uh, is Patrick Stewart. Hi, Pat. How are you doing, buddy? I am doing great, actually. Great. Is that really um, the word for this morning right now? <laughs> That, that's true. I, I, I guess I've gotten accustomed to uh, looking at the bright side lately, so that's, I'm that's doing all totally right. Fine. That's totally fine. I mean, okay, so one, we have gone live kind of on a whim. Uh, we wanted to discuss everything that's been going on for the, the, the last couple of days because it's one thing to just throw news bursts out every 13 seconds, which is what it friggin' feels like. I thought, hey, you know, let's do a news burst live and save me some bloody work for a change. That's all I really want to do here. So, Pat, thank you for saving me some work, mate. I really appreciate it. Now, okay, first things first. We will get to the, the beautiful aspect of the Target exclusive figures, and we'll talk about those in a little bit more detail. But let's talk about the fact that the pre-orders went live this morning, and somehow Cobra Commander's Battle Android Troopers, or Battle Android Troopers, if you get my gist, um, <laughs> have just completely ruined our morning by selling out the exclusives in what felt like milliseconds. I mean, I'm seeing people like posting on Twitter and posting in, in on Facebook saying like, what was that 30 seconds, three seconds, half a second? It was like, it felt like it was ridiculous because I was refreshing from about five minutes to, it get, it was literally just before nine o'clock hit, like officially, it was like, it must've been seconds before nine o'clock and boom, everything was up. And I'm like, right, yes. And I had all the tabs open, all the individual tabs. And I was like, order next, order next, order. And then I got to the Cobra Trooper and nothing. It wasn't available anyway. I'm like, wow, that was fast. At least I've got these guys. No, go to pay for it. And there are er errors in your, in your, you know, whatever. I mean, that was ridiculous. Pat, what was your experience with it? It, it was the same thing. I started with the Cobra Trooper because that was the one that I was the most concerned about. I was concerned about that one and, and, and Baroness. So I, I put Cobra Trooper in the basket. I had Beachhead in my cart and I had Roadblock. And then I got to Baroness and she wasn't there. So I thought, well, I better check out quickly with what I have. Mm. And so I clicked checkout and uh, I, I didn't even see which figure it was first that got ejected from my cart. And then it, it said, well, you need to remove some items from your cart before you can check out. And I realized Roadblock was the only one left. And so I looked to see how I needed to remove things because I thought they were automatically removed. And then it was too late to even get Roadblock. I got nothing. And Mate. I was getting texts then right after that from some <laughs> of my other friends complaining that the same thing had happened to them. It was across the board, wasn't it? It's like a, yeah. the full force message group was blowing up and it was like, oh, here we go again. Bang, 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 bang. Everyone, you know, there was even, a, a, again, friends of mine, um, Jeffrey and Scott Toon from the uh, Fully Posable Wrestling Figure podcast, they were kind of in a message group saying they were on looking for them and what, what happened. And we're like, it, it, you know, bots is what happened. I'm going to have to look into this because I can't keep losing out on these pre-orders, man. It's, it's, not, it's not fun. Now, apparently, we've heard news that <laughs> not for the next following days and weeks... These figures will start appearing on Target.com. We don't know which ones and when they're going to happen. So I just assume that everyone's going to have those tabs open for the next month and they're going to be refreshing every five seconds because they will appear and they will come back. They may even come back a little bit today. You have no idea. So they're probably back now. What are people going to be like commenting saying, oh, we just ordered them, guys. What are you doing on this friggin' live stream? Hopefully we'll get another chance, though. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with this. Uh, right behind me here is the uh, Target exclusive Thundercracker and Skywarp pack. Nice, nice. For Transformers. It, it was much the same thing. This went up, but I don't, I don't remember there being an announcement even of what time this was going to be online. I don't remember that happening at all. Mm. Uh, but it, it was much the same thing. They went up, they sold out very fast. And then periodically until their release date, a couple of them would pop up and, you know, they, they would sell out within seconds. But the reassuring thing that hopefully happens again with, with these Cobra Island figures is that whenever it comes time closer for them to actually ship, 
that's whenever uh, more of them showed up, which I don't... What, what was the shipping date on these? August 14th. Okay, so August 14th. I, I would assume that uh, somewhere closer to that, we will actually have uh, more of them either online or people may actually start finding them in the store because that's, that's what happened with uh, Skywarp and Thundercracker and it happened with the Decepticon clones too. I tried getting those. They sold out, but I just managed to casually buy some of those the other night on the website. Yeah. Well, okay. So, I mean, that, that's, let's, let's put the, the negative to the side for a second yeah. because, um, I mean, let's talk about the figures themselves. I mean, last night they went, they, they kind of, Hasbro kind of, well, G.I. Joe Facebook page, they shocked everybody by knocking these up. We knew they were coming, but we had no idea, you know, we'd heard this thing about a themed set and we were, th- and it, you know, a lot of people were saying movie-based kind of wave. So we were really kind of racking our brains as to what that meant. It makes sense now. It's this special missions Cobra Island theme. We knew they were going to be Target exclusives. We knew it was going to be Cobra Trooper, Beachhead, and uh, Roadblock, a different version of Roadblock. And the the other thing that was that was kind of a, a thing that was out there is we thought it was going to be Snake Eyes and a motorcycle. That was that was actually information that was coming, you know, from you know, let's say source. Uh, and we thought, you know, wow, like th- this is amazing. And then all of a sudden they dropped these images on us and it's the Baroness with a motorbike, which I was like, what? Um, Beachhead looks amazing. Cobra Trooper, incredible. And Roadblock is like, I really like, I know a lot of people are kind of complaining about, um, you know, why, they, you know, why does he have a different head sculpt and, and he looks like heavy duty and all this kind of stuff. But like, I'm really digging it as a figure and I'm kind of like, it's one of those things where I look at it like the classified line has followed some aspects of the original designs, you know, and then all of a sudden they've thrown this in there, which is kind of like a very unique figure design for the classified line. It's like the first classified unique design in a sense, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think that it's it's definitely a departure from anything that we've known for Roadblock so far, and mm. that's a good thing because I don't think that we need to always have things look exactly as they always did. And this looks like something where they really just you know put their creative energies together and, and made something new. Yeah, I like the fact the fact that they're saying it's like him on vacation. I like that. It's like he didn't expect this to be a vacation or something. I don't know, but it's it's right. it's cute that they're throwing in these little kind of spat story elements to it as well. And and obviously um, from the uh, the uploads, the images on target were showing the back of the boxes, and they've got these really cool Cobra Island designs. And I love how the Cobra Island is designed like you know the logo, like the Cobra logo. That's very very cool and has kind of been done to a, a similar degree in, in other iterations. Um, but like, I love the fact that we've got differences on there too. Like, so, so things are going to make sense possibly in a website link up kind of connection where we get some backstory here. Or maybe do you think now that there's another news story that's kind of dropped, which we'll get to later, but do you think it could have any connection to Operation Blackout, which is the computer game? I think it could. Looking at it, it really reminded me of the map in the G.I. Joe Live the Adventure, even with the call-outs of, of specific areas. Yeah. Some of the specific areas that they were showing looked like similar areas from that Live the Adventure insert. Absolutely. And I, I do think that maybe this will show up on the website. I think that it would be a great feature on the website because if it was more interactive, maybe you'd be able to look at more things because there's yeah. definitely a lot of detail going on in there. Yeah, uh, and, and that's that's something I'm quite interested in and looking forward to seeing what they do because, you know, it, it makes sense that they've got put a lot into that website. And, you know, I get the feeling that when um, certain characters, well, I, 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 I can see it being developed, that website even more. I can see them adding more to it. So there, there's, a, there's a very good opportunity there. Also, you know, like, I love this this themed idea. Special Missions Cobra Island just speaks to me in so many different ways. One, being a massive Special Missions fan from the, the original comics. Okay. And, you know, like, the, the, the sub-team element. I know it's not, like, necessarily your classic sub-team. I was, I must admit, I was really hoping for Roblox to be in Tiger Force gear. And I know it's a stretch, but, like, you know, I, I could see, I could have seen them doing, because you've got, you've got Duke. You've got 
roadblock and that's it at the moment but you've got, <laughs> you've got flint coming as well in right in, right so you know there's 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 an option there in my in my head that, that we're going to get some sort of tiger force based element um but that's by the by let's discuss uh talk about roadblock and his the broiler i love that addition by the way which is like an homage to his chef kind of days oh right yeah yeah it is so that that hadn't even occurred to me yeah so there's that aspect the skull cap and the the head device and the shades removable shades as well all kind of scream heavy duty to me in a sense the way the, that that like kind of was it valor versus venom era where he had that skull cap it was yeah to me i look at it though and i, I see the uh the communications piece and it and it also kind of reminds me of Lieutenant Stone from G.I. Joe Extreme. The True. deluxe Lieutenant Stone had almost that same exact, like, big antenna sticking off the side. Yeah, totally. It's a very 90s look for him. I, I think it's great. And the sh yeah. more shades, man. I mean, they're throwing loads of shades into the classified line. Um, have right. you checked and to see if they're like the they're... same as Destro's? Uh, I don't think they are. It actually looks like the, the headset that he has on has a little hole in it to make sure that the shades can actually lock in and not fall off the figure. That's so I amazing. think that looks like it's going to, it's going to work out really well. And they're tinted as well, aren't they? Which is pretty cool too. I, I just, I love everything about this line, man. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is it's a new head sculpt for Roblox, which again is like, wow. And he, he's got a bigger beard. Like he's, he's let it go a little bit. He's chilling. He's got, he's got the Kimbo slice going on. Not, a lot of people yeah. saying he looks like Kimbo slice. Um, I mean, uh, what are your thoughts on, on them doing a new head sculpt for him for that version? Are you happy that they've done that? I am. I, I think that this may actually be one of the advantages we're seeing out of a lot of things being done in 3D. Mm. I, I would imagine that it may be um, a lot faster to be able to take that 3D model and add a thicker beard and additional gear to the head and then create the tooling for it. I'm a little surprised, you know, we got we got tooling for a different roadblock head i've seen some people saying that instead of a commando snake eyes we get a second roadblock but yeah I, I think that it just shows that there's going to be a lot of versatility going forward and that it's it's a really good sign that for an exclusive we were able to get new tooling that doesn't always yeah. happen yeah very true very true and the, the the what yeah that's another thing we've got to mention it's a target exclusive and usually with exclusives they are repaints or they're like slightly different rejigged kind of you know characters um and that's exactly kind of what's happened here in a sense but there's quite a lot of new stuff in there uh, including beachhead which let's talk about beachhead a bit because i mean my goodness man there's another absolute beauty for me and even though a lot of people are going on and on and on about the removable beret, uh, it's one, it's removable. Two, exactly. it's the homage to the epaulette stuffed in the epaulette, one in the, yep. in the original figure. So I don't know why people have got such a problem with it because it's removable, which means it can go on another head as well. That's another thing people aren't really taking into consideration. That is a very versatile piece there. And we could have a beachhead without the mask at some point do you know what i mean like or a head that could be used in that sense correct i, I actually think that this was my favorite thing that i saw I, i'm a huge fan of cobra troopers because that was the first figure that i had as a kid yeah. but the beret was the thing that i really got excited about when i saw this wave it may be one of my favorite things so far from the entire classified line because yeah. i love it whenever there are things incorporated that show extreme attention to detail and i am certain that a lot of people didn't realize that the version one beachhead actually has that beret on the figure because he's not wearing it on his head so and, and as you said it, it's removable that's kind of the key word here if, yeah. if you don't like it you don't have to leave it on the figure exactly and we don't know what beachhead looks like really apart from that sideshow figure and that one bit in the cartoon where his his uh balaclava was folded up by accident have you, read, have you ever seen that animation error you must have done right i i, I have seen that i i know that it, he i know that i saw some screenshots when i was looking for it last night and i can remember watching arise serpentor arise again when it came out on the rhino dvds and i can't remember whether it was before or after the commercial break but one or the other he's there without a mask and i was completely like i rewound it i was completely surprised <laughs> yeah but 
you know, it, it's not like he's a mystery man. He doesn't no. need to have the mask off. So I kind of wonder if people would be more upset if he had come with, you know, a, a maskless, um, a maskless version, which that has also happened then in, in the 25th side comic show. pack. So yeah, sideshow as well. They did that. The, the yeah. sideshow beach had yeah. that had uh, just a, you know that crazy like gnarly face and everything yeah. with the mohawk and everything. Yeah. P point is, in my opinion, the inclusion of that beret was a great choice and absolutely, absolutely shows a lot of appreciation for the GI Joe that has come before, and that's absolutely. what I am all about. I love it. The other thing I really like is the fact they really went to town on his backpack. So like it's yeah. it's like it's very you know it's even <laughs> I call it the umbrella, but that um, the kind of like I suppose folded up harp um, uh, grappling hook is it is that what it is? Is that what it is? I, I honestly I, I would love some kind of Giajo visual dictionary that told us exactly <laughs> what all these things were. <laughs> oh, um, I've just called it an umbrella because it looks hilarious, doesn't it? It's like I mean you could cosplay that and just stick one of those old school umbrellas on the side, and everyone you, would just you could. Like, yeah. Somebody yeah. told me that it was a like some kind of wire guided missile, though. So oh, I don't okay. know if that's what it is or if it is some kind of grappling hook. I just assumed I, I'm it was not some, really sure because isn't there something wrapped at the bottom, like it, like as there if it's is. like yeah. rope? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I just figured that's what it was. In any case, by the by, amazing. I mean, the artwork on these boxes again. I'm like really enjoying um, seeing all the all the different individual artwork. Uh, and they all look fantastic. And Beachhead looks really cool running in. And I love the gun. Okay, let's talk guns. Because before we get to Cobra Trooper, well, as we get into Cobra Trooper now, we can kind of accumulate this a little bit. We'll save the Baroness uh, for last here. But okay. the, the fact that all of the weapons cross into Nerf, like every single one of them is like, like a small version of a Nerf rifle of some description. And even going back into like the Gung Ho reveal, he's got a couple of Nerf weapons as well, hasn't he? Um, I, I didn't know which ones they were though. I was trying to figure that out today and it got too close <laughs> to that nine o'clock marker. And I thought, yeah, I'm not going to figure this out. <laughs> um, the, the name of it, but I've got a, an in edited version of this after the fact. Um, but yeah, and I, I posted it in one of the comments in one of the, you know, someone was, was posting it and anyway, it's amazing. The guns are really cool. And I love the fact that they're doing this cross promotion with Nerf which is obviously part of Hasbro as well. Oh, it's, it's Hasbro owned property, but it's the fact that, that they're doing this cross. And I feel like it's an, it's something that should have been done a long time ago anyway. Like I, I feel like we should have had Nerf GI Joe weapons, you know? Yeah. Nerf's Nerf's a lot of fun. Uh, I started buying a bunch of Nerf because my nephew took interest. And then I started realizing really how into that a person can get. Because <laughs> there's just, a large variety of things that they've put out, you know, different speeds and different accuracy and different types of ammunition. And yeah, there's it nerfs a lot of fun. So I, I think that it's one of the things that's great about it is that the design team's probably able to sit down, look at this vast history of nerf yeah, and pick out uh, which blasters are probably the ones that would look most interesting with which characters, yeah. rather than trying to create something that's brand new entirely, it gives them the ability to see something and not only draw inspiration from it, but actually choose something exactly that already has been a hit. And also, they're, they're preying on the weakness of myself and other Joe fans, in that now we're going to be out seeking these Nerf guns because they're part of the G.I. Joe mythology. So it's like, right, so this Nerf gun is now a G.I. Joe uh, branded product in, in my head. So I have to buy this. So thanks, Hasbro. You yeah, I'm picturing a lot of uh, Nerf at cosplay. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So the beauty part is Kate and I uh, often would get the Nerf rifles when we did cosplays and stuff. And I went to the extreme of getting the Nerf Terror Scout, which is like the you know, for the Night Force Lightfoot base yeah, for his yeah. drone. So, like, you know, again, I'm more than happy about them including the Nerf Rifles. And Beachhead's one looks sick. I love it. Yeah, no Nerf Rival yet, though, is there? Nerf Rival is great. Yes. I haven't seen yeah. any of it. And Yeah, well, you know, we've got, we've got a few characters to come, haven't we? Um, okay, so Cobra Trooper. Um, that's really cool. And it comes with an item uh, which... 
it, I was kind of looking at thinking, is that an armband? And I think we worked it out that it's an armband. Uh, and it, it denotes that one of them may be a true, uh, an officer, which again is a nice touch in a sense. It's like, you know, you can maybe buy multiples of these and then one of them could have the officer armband. So that that's quite a cool little touch, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I think that's a, it, it's definitely a, a quicker way of getting yourself an officer than having to buy another figure. I just kind of like the fact that it's an option in there. I don't think there's any danger of these not selling out. <laughs> well, um, yeah, so good point. <laughs> I think people will have multiples of them and it's going to be nice to have this. Even if they did create from this tooling a Cobra officer with the silver Cobra logo, this could be, you know, somewhere in between. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Cobra, like, Cobra Trooper and Cobra Officer. Like a, like a squad leader or something, basically. Yeah. 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 And and the other thing as well, like you could you could probably say that, you know, they could use the base body. They could utilize maybe a different secondary for the for the Cobra Officer as well, just to kind of differentiate yeah. them. Something different on the helmet, different colored uh, face mask, and yeah, and different logo color. And boom, you've got an officer. So I yeah I agree with that I think that's awesome so that that's your that's your beachhead roadblock and Cobra Trooper all very awesome I'm loving again artwork looks great um, I can't think of any other oh, removable helmet on the on the Trooper as well which is pretty neat so it's like you know that little thing can come off and plop on the top so there's there's another there's there's a lot of nice details in these and at six inch you can do so much more I think can't you. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how the goggles are going to work in conjunction with the helmet. I think that they probably will fit on the figure with it on, but I'm kind of wondering if you can have them over his eyes or up on the forehead with the helmet on. Looking at it, I'm I'm suspecting that you'll be able to do either one. I'm, I should hope so. There's, yeah. There's, yeah, I'd be gutted if they didn't take that into consideration. Unless yeah, the that... goggles fit on the outside of the helmet as well, that's possible. Uh, yeah, I, it looks you know like there will be like... some options. I really, I really would love to have been able to pre-order this uh, so that I could find out. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Target. Uh, if indeed that is your real name, which I very much right. doubt. Extensive Enterprises. Um, right. So yeah. So then the, the the real shocker for me, in a good way, was the fact that we I get our first vehicle in the line, which everyone everyone knew it was going to be a motorbike because that's what it said in the listings. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody for a second thought it was going to be the Baroness and a Cobra motorcycle. Now, that was an absolute mind blower. Now, we will be getting, we will be getting a single released Baroness in future waves. I'm just going to say it now. It's that's happening. And that will be probably more or less the same figure, but with the, the colors that we've seen on all of the artwork where it's gold and, you know, reds and all that kind of jazz. So, that will be added, and, and possibly even purple highlights in her hair, which I, I quite like the sound of, actually. I think that sounds amazing. Especially now that we'll have one without them. If you can have it with and without, it's best of both worlds. So I, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping so as well. I Absolutely. thought that it was a good look. You know, I saw yeah. you, you change things up. Some people are going to like it. Some people aren't. But Absolutely. whenever you get both, then there's yeah, really you can't nothing complain. to uh, Exactly. <laughs> Although there is the... Um, but that's a wasted slot complaint, which always kind of makes me go, are you, are you serious? We've got like, I know we've got like a lot of repaints already, but we are talking about a crushed COVID timescale as well. So Regal Cobra Commander wouldn't have been coming out until much later in the way in like uh, on. So we, uh, in reality, without COVID, we only have two Cobra Commanders at this point. Okay. Known as well. Um, we'd have two Destros, but one of them is vastly different with loads of new tooling. And the and the other situation and, and all same with Cobra Commander, it would be va it would be a vastly different deco, different tooling and different accessories with a beautiful kind of dis display. So there's a lot of difference in those two already. Same with Snake Eyes, mm -hmm. um, and so effectively you've only got three major characters that have got those those the doubles. And then now we would have seen this roadblock. And it's a completely different look, everything, different heads. So there's a lot of difference in there so far. And yes, I agree, there's a lot of reuse, but we're talking a very expensive classified development line here that is, you know, needing to reuse this tooling. 
Yeah, I, I'm kind of looking as the Baroness with a bike as the bonus one because for consistency's sake, I'm looking for that, that single figure to, to be boxed and I, I'm really looking for that to be the creative one that is the standard classified figure. But also speaking to tooling, a lot of people were kind of expecting the bike to be reused because there have been yeah. a lot of bikes in the Marvel line and I didn't really think that they would go that way because that would be a little obvious and I, I just wasn't expecting that. Yeah. And then I, I don't recognize this bike as having been reused. It looks new. I'm not wrong on that. Am I? I think it is new. Um, it's yeah. definitely got like, like really cool Akira vibes, you know, the red and the it black, does, yeah. the, that kind of extended front um, kind of, uh, you know, front right. wheel. It, it's, there's something, there's, I don't know, there's something really cool about it in, in its design. And then, um, a couple of little details I picked up on, on the artwork. The two bigger blasters seem to connect to the side of the bike in some way, shape, or form. So um, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't quite work it out on looking at the blasters and the bike itself. But on the artwork, you can clearly see that one of those blasters is attached to the side of the bike. I think if you look on the, the blaster on the right, I think that I see a tiny little peg. Right. And uh, then there are peg holes on the sides in the front near that area. So I think that they just peg in on the side. But it's awesome. nice for them to be removable and for her to be able to have Ex extra blasters. Yeah, Exactly. And she's also got loads of other cute accessories, obviously the two gold pistols. But then the things I want to talk about, the, the, the yeah. Cobra dagger, which is pretty neat. And then this yeah. really elaborate, but I, I really love the concept because again, on the artwork, you can just about see around the corner that she's holding that, that particular weapon and it's wrapping around her arm, right? And I'm just thinking, what a cool design for the Baroness. You know, very elaborate, very like, you know, just elegant kind of weapon with this big- It almost looks like jewelry. Yes, and yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like something you'd kind of expect. Um, um, you know, we, we might see it again with I don't know, Serpento, or yeah, you know, yeah, I'm just throwing that out there, or maybe even a Pythona. I think it'd work well with a Pythona if that was colored, you know, similar to her kind of deco and stuff like that. Um, but again, amazing. I really love that accessory, and you can see in the card art just about that she's holding it and it's wrapped around her arm. Uh, again, yeah. really, really neat. Yeah, just about. That's the other thing that I'm still wondering about about these figures is that the side of the box sometimes has quite a bit of additional art on it for us yes. to look at, and we haven't seen those yet. So I'll be curious to see if any of that pops up in the near future or if we have to wait for people to get those in hand in order for us to see the rest of this art. We have to wait for those Russian bots to get all those in hand before <laughs> we can see them. <laughs> That's right. If, if they'll show them to us and not keep them all for themselves. Uh, but I, it, I guess we're fortunate that that part, you know, she's holding it out far enough that it managed to go to the front of the box. Exactly. So exactly. there'd be some explanation that that snake actually shoots. And I'm kind of wondering if it attaches to any point on the bike, because looking yeah. behind her, there's a second seat that kind of has a wave to it that I'm looking at. And I'm like, ah, I could probably I could probably rest that there. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm yeah. wondering if it locks in at all or if I will just have to have her, you know, riding a bike and, and holding this, on to it. This is why I get you on the show, Pat, because you always see little things like that little minutia that doesn't always pan out, but it's 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 great to, to notice right. too. Um, okay, so... And, and one more thing about the Baroness, I apps it's I know it's like it's a distant image, but the head sculpt looks absolutely beautiful. Like I am so happy with that head sculpt. It's it just looks amazing. And I've never there's there's like almost like a, an original. I know it's like the female face, the glasses, the black hair, but there's something to that face that I haven't seen in a Baroness in the past. Like it looks very like almost a like unique in a sense. One of the things that always makes me a little bit nervous is whenever a, a figure is going to incorporate actual glasses. Yeah. Sometimes the glasses just look way too thick. They aren't straight on the head. There's just been a lot of difficulty, I think, over the years perfecting glasses because now they have the facial technology. Yeah. They can make faces look amazing, but. The glasses, still kind of wondering. With Destro, you know, they, they were they had like that gradient paint color to them. So I was kind of wondering how Baroness would look with clear glasses. Would they be a little foggy looking? Like how yeah, is yeah. it gonna work out? 
and looking at them, they look absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah, big time, big time. I mean, really happy with this Cobra Island special missions wave thing. Um, gutted we couldn't actually get them on pre-order, right. but let's face it, we'll probably be messaging each other through the next couple of weeks going, oh, I managed to get it, I managed to get it. I managed. So, you know, I, let, let's not I, be I probably won't be doing that. <laughs> I won't be that lucky. <laughs> I'm just going to be, that's it. Just I'm, No more news bursts, guys. I'm just going to be refreshing Target well, you seem forever. to have multiplied yourself in order to do the news bursts because I swear there's more than one of you editing and posting all at the same time. So no, you should have just multiplied yourself to be on, on Target.com buying these. I've literally cloned myself using a <laughs> DNA. I've extracted the DNA from all of the losers in the world. And I've, No, anyway. Um, <laughs> so that's that wave. Amazing. Love it. Uh, we've discussed it to death now. Um, I will get to people in the comments in a second, guys. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Really appreciate it. Again, there's loads of you doing this, and, and I really and considering I didn't promote this, I'm very, very pleased with the amount of people that have jumped on. Uh, the next one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Retrowave Three. Now, His Tank just posted that um, JT Prime has a, a, was it JT Seventeen Prime? JT Prime Seventeen. Sorry, JT. It's, it's the, the same guy that keeps finding these things all over the place. In any case, um, you're doing the Lord's work. And uh, more listings for Wave 3. Now, those figures are Carpenter Ant, Dung Beetle, and Puma for Wave 3. Now, we know that Carpenter Ant is Cobra Commander, so that's of self-explanatory. We know Dung Beetle is Duke. And the last one, we were... We've been trying to rack our brains with these code words, these recent code words, including mountain lion, um, leopard, uh, foxtrot, and puma. And when we got the information that Major Blood, Flint, Lady J, and Barbecue were coming, we kind of made the assumption that mountain lion was going to be Major Blood, that foxtrot was going to be Flint, that leopard was going to be Lady J, and that puma was going to be bar Barbecue. Having seen that Puma is in this, this list, we've, we're kind of thinking, well, now we're thinking, is Lady J Puma? And the reason for that is that, honestly, I just assumed Lady J was going to be in this re retro wave three. So at the moment, it's not confirmed, but we're looking at Cobra Commander, Duke, and possibly Lady J or Barbecue as that, that last one. Now, what are your thoughts on that, on that lineup, uh, Patrick? I'm really curious to see what they are. Uh, the reason why I would think that it's Lady J is... 50th? Uh, exactly. Mm. Uh, she was the other figure in the pack with Baroness, and, and we're already seeing that we are getting a slight change to that, to that Baroness and, and her release. So exactly. I, I think that Lady J is the other one. The one that I'm... Worried well, about is Duke. <laughs> worried about, curious about, because oh. there was that art that had popped up online that included a bunch of unreleased figures from the 50th. And yeah. Duke was one of them. And it was a more classic looking Duke. And I, you, you can kind of look at the figure at the art, I'm sorry, and determine what parts would have been on the figure. Yeah. And if that was in the pipeline and canceled, there's hopefully a possibility that that could still be the figure that we get. Otherwise, I don't think that we'll get that 50th one again with oh the... Oh, my goodness. The, the repack from the the DVD pack or the one that was with Tombstone? The one that was with Tombstone. Well, okay. I, I, yeah, I know. One. This is why I'm worried because I'm thinking, are they going to... They're not going to put old screaming Duke, you know, with the terrible... I, like, um, yeah, they're not going to do that. Please don't do that. I, I, don't th I don't think they're going to do that. You know, if they do the one that was with Tombstone... There were also those pre-production colors that, that came through, and they have changed the colors up a tiny little bit on these figures. I thought that that Duke was a good figure for a one-off, yeah. yeah. but I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't want it on a card with the version one Duke art yeah. next to it. Yeah, I agree with that one. Um, in any case, I mean that's it's an interesting. It's not. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Really, Cobra Commander makes sense. Duke makes sense. And Lady yeah. J uh, or Barbecue, and I mean, like, what barbecue, version of Cobra Commander do you think we'll get? Well, whatever we got the most recent one, because that's what I think is happening here. I think the most recent version in his with his, uh, you know, the battle mask, 
the the kind of you know the, the chrome mask with the the blue helmet yeah but wasn't that the uh the black and red one from the 50th wasn't that the most recent cover commander well just i just remember. mean the most recent blue blue version of the, okay. of that particular may of that particular design but i i could imagine them just repainting it yeah that's true that's true yeah uh, we'll it's, see i mean it, yeah. it's it's hopefully a surprise that's that's the one thing that I was really hoping with for that line. Once, once I realized that it was more as a vintage collection kind of version of GI Joe, I'm hoping that going into future waves, well, I'm hoping that there are multiple future waves, but I'm hoping that going into those, we start seeing more new, n more newer stuff. Yeah. Which yeah. is why I'm really hoping that that Duke is the Duke that I'm thinking of. Yeah, totally. And again, Re like i'm not like a massive massive fan um of the of the retro wave i'm ha i'm kind of happy that they're going in the modern direction to a degree but at the same time like you know if people are enjoying it and they want to pick them up that's great and i'm really happy for them but it's not really buzzing my berries in that sense uh i am in intrigued though if, if we are going to get something like a Sorry, we've got, I've got work going on underneath me, so it's probably going to come through very loudly, unfortunately. Well, did you hear the work going on next to me just a few minutes ago? No, I think we got away okay. with that. Hopefully we'll get away with this too. Um, so yeah, we'll have, you know, if we, if we can have something like a unreleased Duke, that would be fantastic and would yeah. probably be annoying enough for me to then go, right, so I have got to collect all of these because I can't just get the one. I'd have to get the whole line at that point, and that's the annoying thing about my horrible personality. Um, next up, then on the on the retro after the retro wave, is the artwork has dropped for Operation Blackout, the GI Joe computer game. Uh, we've seen it on the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four covers, and lo and behold, they're using classified designs. How excited are you about that, Pat? That's a great decision because there needs to be some kind of unity to the brand, like a almost a synergy. I think that what will happen is, well, hopefully it will get more exposure to the figures, bring people from the video game audience over to the figures. It, it just works out to be able to get both of them. The thing that I'm certain that will happen, though, is that the game will come out and we will be digging through every single frame and and oh, every yeah. kind of character that appears I, I can remember one of the rise of cobra games yes came out. yes there were just tons of characters that were in there that i thought for sure like i thought the cobra shield trooper but then it's like well you know that that makes sense for a video game for you have to break its shields and then hit the guy and there's a lot of uh game centric stuff that that comes out of that but i think that's where we got helix so sometimes some really good stuff comes out of video games and i'm curious take a look at that to try to start the fun of determining what stuff may be designed in the pipeline, what was made just for the video game. And that can even be true of backgrounds and of vehicles, maybe, yeah, you know, will abso fairness absolutely. Motor motorcycle be in the game? Who knows? We'll see. It's going to be one of those things where there's like a, the opening scene is there on the flag and everyone's going to be like, oh, so we're getting a HasLab flag then, six inch, obviously. Right. Uh, I'm certainly going to say that and then speculate that that's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited. I cannot wait to get that game, honestly. Um, even if it's crap, I think I'm going to have that, the same enjoyment I got out of the Rise of Cobra game, like you said before, of, you know, like you, you unlock a character and you're like, oh my God, like you've got, uh, which one was it? Was it uh, Flash that was really cool in that as well, like, that came out as a figure as well? Or they used that design they, in the game. They did. Got that, yeah. That long kind of red gear. I really, yeah. really thought I that was like a backblast cool. from that game. Backblast was in there, and looked really cool. Yes, and that, again, I'm looking forward to that. In but in like the modern classified style. And again, Absolutely, you, yeah. What's the betting? They have a character revealed from that game, just like they did with Helix in Rise of Cobra. What's the betting? We have an exclusive character from that game as a figure. That would be really cool. I know that there have been some GameStop exclusives for Star Wars games, so that definitely wouldn't be unheard of for Hasbro to be involved with an exclusive for a game. It'd be a missed opportunity, wouldn't it? It would almost be, yeah. I'm not counting on there being some brand new character in there, but even another outfit or something that we're looking for from the existing figures would be nice. Because yeah, it's I like, think it's like a force hit and run, basically. 
Tiger Force Hit and Run, Night Force Lightfoot. Right. Either of course. those two, and I'm, I'm yeah, fine. just just narrow it down to just those two. We'll be disappointed <laughs> if anything else. That's it. So they have time. They have until October. So get on it, right? Um, and uh, Star Brigade Downtown as the most random thing <laughs> I could think of. Um, anyway, Pat, mate, thank you so much for jumping on this live stream. Uh, we're not finished just yet. I'm going to dive into some of these comments. There's been four hundred thirty thousand comments. This is ridiculous. Uh, Daniel Levera says, did I get my pre-orders in? No. Uh, <laughs> basically, no. I don't, um, I don't know anyone who did. No, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've heard somebody did get a roadblock. So congratulations, somebody, for getting a roadblock. Um, lots of kind of chat about uh, really people in, enjoying, you know, enjoying all of these different things. Paul says, uh, Paul Pamphlin said, Cobra Trooper went from coming soon to sold out, was never available. That's a possibility, uh, although I do think that bots just rinse those multiples of those because I did have him in my cart. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. That 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 quashes that ball. Then Paul, I'm just kidding. Loads of people watching. Great to see all the, the names. Sorry again for not uh, calling you all out. UK orders are up. Uh, thank you to In Demand Toys as well. They did. They, they're doing some amazing stuff in the UK and for Europe uh, in getting these toys out there. Kapow as well. So big shout out to Kapow and, and mainly in demand because I'm, you know, I'm very close with Nick and Mass uh, doing amazing work out there in the UK. Uh, yes, uh, Matthew Matson said some have gotten roadblock. That's all I've heard. And honestly, everyone I know uh, or like I'm close with struck out 100%, which is, which is crazy. Um, Kir- Kero says, sounds like this went smooth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. We've had the network debacle. We've had... Um, there's more, isn't there? The Walmart retro like stuff selling out like Im- immediately, although it wasn't really bad, but it wasn't. As that, wasn't that wasn't as bad. It was a little weird that the things went up without the pictures at first, and then yeah. it, it became difficult. I didn't get an awe striker, but, I, but I'm sure I will. And this really isn't anything G.I. Joe specific with the stuff that just went on at Target, oh, because uh, like yeah. I so, said, TMNT, they will pop Transformers, up again. And, yeah. uh, I haven't, for all the Transformers exclusives that have been coming out, I haven't had to go to eBay or any kind of resellers to get any of it. I've all, always eventually gotten it from Target, either in the store or shipped to me through the website. Yeah, a lot of people were going crazy with the date. You know, when we were kind of going, when did they come out? And we were like look, thinking about August and all that stuff. Uh, it must have been about seven people told us August 14th. I just wasn't paying attention. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, da, da, da. I think a lot of people like uh, talking about the bots scenario. Um, yeah, I, I I think as a as a as a troll, Hasbro should release a Battle Android Trooper, but misspell it B O T. I think that's what should happen in the uh, on the on the box. My, Michael says just pre ordered the lot from In Demand Toys. Hopefully, it's all good. You'd be better off doing that, I think, guys. Right now, I might even do that. I might even do that. Let's get Paddy to send us all from. Uh, Get, he can order them in and send them all to us. Loads of people watching as the work gets really loud. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I apologize if you can. I can hear just a little bit. Okay, hopefully it's not coming. This microphone's good, like it's directional. So hopefully it's just picking me up. But Nelson says this the roadblock design is awesome. And I have to agree. I think it's really out there, isn't it? It's really different. But again, I like that difference. I, I want more of that difference, in all honesty. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what else they could do with some of the other characters. Uh, obviously, I'd like to see more characters introduced before we go too far down that road. But I, I think that there's really definitely a chance that we will see Duke, maybe Scarlet, some of the others that we've already seen in a completely wild uh, new design. That's why I really liked the special missions tag on there too. Yeah, yeah. Because it would be nice to see special missions something else again, you know, kind of keep that theme going so that it's not always just a force or a patrol that is a, I like the unified unified sets, unified teams, but yeah. also having a subset that that is a mission makes sense. And it, and it gives them the opportunity to do your beachheads and your repeaters and your leathernecks and, yeah. your, you know, all of those. I just, they grab them randomly out of my head. I don't know anything that they, they're coming, by the way, they're coming. I'm just kidding. Um, but you get those you get those particular characters kind of popping in there and being utilized uh, in their original decos as well, which is something that's really cool. I mean, seeing that beachhead, man, it was just like mwah, perfection, wasn't it? Yeah, it, 
it really made me wonder, you know, at first I thought, well, this is an exclusive, so we'll get another beachhead later. But then it occurred to me, there's a lot of Joes. It may be a little while before we see another beachhead. I'm not going to count on there being a different beachhead right away. Tiger Force and, Beachhead, did you say? What? Tiger Force Beachhead, you said, right? Yeah, that's what right. I heard. Of course, Tiger Force <laughs> Beachhead's coming right away. That's totally <laughs> what I said while you were looking down. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it, it definitely gives us an opportunity to get some of those things. And it makes me wonder uh, if these are the exclusives, what else may be in the pipeline using the same tooling? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what, another little detail I really like about Beecher that I want to mention is the different element around his mouth, like almost like a thinner bit yeah. of material so he can breathe through it. I just thought that was like a yeah. really, really nice touch, you know, like really modern, modernized the balaclava a little bit as well. Very cool. Uh, Paul says, the slot complaint, ha ha, aka the worst complaint, which it is. If anyone says the wasted slot, it's like it's almost like that. I just switch off, honestly. Especially if, if anyone ever uses the wasted slot when we get Lightfoot, I'm going to explode, okay? <laughs> Everyone, like, generally people, I believe, um, are very positive about this line. Um, James Cavanaugh Jr. has actually put up a, an interesting point. He says, uh, I, I, just that randomly as well, you know what James is like, Ladybug is probably the unnamed Snake Eyes movie woman. Uh, well, she's not unnamed. She's a Kiko in the movie. And I believe it's a very high possibility that a Kiko is Ladybug for that movie wave because that was another name that came out um, in the listings. Uh, I just wanted to say that as a side note. Um, have you heard anything about that, Pat? Uh, not anything definitive, no, but that was how everything seems to be pointing. So I think that he's right. I appreciate James chiming in on that. He always makes a lot of good points. Uh, I really am curious, yes. though, to see what her outfit design looks like. Well, that's, that's probably one of the reasons we haven't seen that wave yet, because I believe yeah. that, was gonna, that was actually a wave that was going to be coming in very much sooner than we're seeing all this other stuff. So they've had to definitely pivot and change some things as the movie. It looks like it's getting going to 2021. It just looks like that's that's the that's the situation. Um, no official confirmation yet, but that's the rumblings in the movie world. In all honesty, mm. Eric Arani says hi, Dorks. Hi, Eric. That's nice of you to hi. say. Jo Joel <laughs> Joel Elvis Rocker is watching. Hi, Joel. Uh, William J. Tombstone coming back in the new game would be cool. He says. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that anytime you have a game and there's an opportunity to pull some uh, underutilized characters, they should definitely look to do that. Okay, this is news. Somebody already got one at a target. No. Really? That's, yeah, th there's an Instagram image going around, apparently. Um, Does it have the I'm, side of the box? <laughs> I I'm going to have to... We'll check that afterwards. Um, yeah. And it'll, it'll go up on the edited version, but that's yeah, just interesting. Yeah, one of you thought that you didn't have another video to make. Yeah, thanks. Well, thankfully, this is all in one, so I'm not going to bother doing all individual bursts. Uh, Brian Hoffman says, thanks. I was the guy that got the roadblock. <laughs> he was the one guy. Well done, Brian. You were quicker than everybody else. Well, quicker than every human, um, should we say. Josh Engelhart is watching. Hi, Josh. Uh, David Mooncraft, do it Paddy. Paddy was saying that he would order them in and send them out to everyone else. Uh, oh, this is great. BOT could be Battle Online Trooper. Thank you, Paul, for, for making that even better. Uh, David says we can hear it all. So all of the, the noise and the work that was going on. Sorry, guys. Apologies. Yeah, Eric says Kate is doing carpentry. She's not. This is happening underneath me in a car park they're building for the, for the building. It's um, probably the bots down there trying to distract you from being able to buy things online. <laughs> this is all the conspiracy, just so that I couldn't get it. Um, and Kate has just come back, so the dogs are going to bark, which is going to bring us to the end of this uh, brilliant, um, brilliant burst. There you go. So we've got dogs barking too. Uh, yeah, beachhead found at Target, apparently. This is... I, I guess I'm heading to Target. Literally, that's come... what I'm going to go do. Kate's just come from Target. She looked, but they weren't there. So thank uh, you. Okay. I appreciate that. That complete accident, by the way. It's just... Yeah. Phoebe, let me finish this news burst. Anyway. So I wonder um... if the person had a problem with... Uh, did they say that they bought it or that they saw it at Target? Because a lot of times things are street gated and it's difficult to get them. I don't even know if we have a DPCI number on this yet. 
Um, or if I they have a different DPCI than the standard line. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna I'm gonna neutralize my dog here. Uh, yes, I I'm not sure just as yet, but it looks as though someone was purchased. And again, it could have been that it was put out too early, or it could be yeah. we don't know yet. So unfortunately, we'll have to find that out in a second. Anyway, Pat, thank you so much, mate, for joining me. As I have to get rid of. Oh, it was a pleasure. It's been an absolute burst. <laughs> um, sorry, that's a bit of full force humor there. Um, guys, thank you for joining as well. Really appreciate, um, Eric just shouted Phoebe on the comments. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching and interacting. It's amazing. These live things are great. I'm loving them and it's less work for me. I say less work. I then have to edit it for YouTube anyway, but it's, it feels like less work, even though it's double the work. So thank you for that. Pat, mate, thank you so much, buddy. Oh, thank you. And as we say, all the end of all of these, uh, live streams, uh, we'll have to shout the full force, by the way, Pat, I'm not sure if you're aware okay. of this. Okay, yeah, no, so no after... I, I, I'm aware. I've watched okay. the other live streams. So after three, one, two, three, full, full force. force. That's it for this installment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, me. See you next time, and as always, full force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force <laughs>